to say that today the prayers of the American people are with the family of a devoted and courageous journalist, Stephen Sotloff. Overnight, our government determined that tragically Stephen was taken from us in a hor horrific act of violence. We cannot even begin to imagine the agony that uh, everyone who loves Stephen is feeling right now, especially his mother, his father, and his younger sister. So today our country grieves with them. Like Jim Foley before him, Steve's life stood in sharp contrast to those who murdered him so brutally. They make the absurd claim that they kill in the name of religion, but it was Stephen, his friends say, who deeply loved the Islamic world. His killers try to claim that they defend the oppressed, but it was Stephen who traveled across the Middle East risking his life to tell the story of Muslim men and women demanding justice and dignity. Whatever these murderers think they'll achieve by killing innocent Americans like Stephen, uh, they have already failed. They failed because, like people around the world, Americans are repulsed by their barbarism. We will not be intimidated. Their horrific acts only unite us as a country and stiffen our resolve to take the fight against these terrorists. Leader